Almost everything is original here. Um, most of it was just simply restored. Um, the mahogany that's in the living room and the dining room is from the Philippines. It's um, in beautiful condition. There's all the original hardware and the doors except for two doorknobs, which is pretty amazing since it was built in 1927. Michael George, through the Torrance Library, was able to go into the microfiche and he found actually an article in the Torrance Herald, uh, July 21st, 1927, and it was a picture of the home, and it looks almost exactly the same, and a very extensive description of all the features, including the tradesmen that built it. Um, and it did say it was a model home. It said that the original price was $12,000. That was the asking price. He also found a site map of El Prado, and it shows the houses that were here as of 1929, so two years later, and there were still very few. It's called a Spanish Revival. I've actually seen some literature that would probably also call it a Spanish bungalow. At that time, in, when houses were built, most houses were single story for you know working people. And that's when this was built, this was part of a whole vision of for Torrance, where there would be a place that you could work, shop, and live all within the confines of a, you know, a small area. I always thought that having an old Spanish house would be fun, and I love all the features of it. I love the texture of the walls and the roundness, the arches and things like that, and I love hardwood floors. This is lath and plaster construction, so there's very little room for insulation. So the features must have been all for beauty. I love the view of El Prado Park. It's just gorgeous. It's nice to have the green there of the grass and the trees. The city does an amazing job of maintaining it, but the view is beautiful. It's from the living room, which we're in right now, the dining room, which is next to this, the little breakfast nook, and then also the patio that I've added on the east side. My favorite feature of this house would be the large windows. Um, all the windows, are almost floor to ceiling. Um, and I love that, the light is amazing. The kitchen is very small and compact. In the article that appeared in the um, Torrance Herald 1927, it touted that this kitchen had every modern convenience for the housewife, which I'm, other than being able to reach everything from one spot, I'm not sure about the other features. But it's very small. I've maintained all the existing cupboards and drawers. One of the drawers in the kitchen was actually touted as being a zinc lined, which someone told me that was where they would keep flour. And at that time, women baked quite a bit. I have not been able to identify which drawer that was, and certainly the zinc is long gone. Behind the door from the kitchen to the laundry room is a built-in ironing board that actually I still use quite a bit. And it's a handy little thing. Uh, houses built in this area didn't have a lot of storage, so it's one less thing that you have to find a home for. This tile's all original. In fact, a couple pieces were broken, but we were able to see on the back of them that it was a tile company in Gardena, which still is in business. And we went there and they had the same colors, so we were able to replace the few tiles that were broken and you'd never be able to figure out which ones they were. The next stop will be the uh, party patio. This is on the east side of the house. When I bought the home, it actually, there was a cement walkway that was a little uh, bumpy because there were many trees and the roots had made it unstable. And so I had that taken out and I decided this was going to be a perfect area to be used. So I had it all bricked and I went with just plain brick to tie in with the terracotta uh, roof line. And it's a very wonderful place because we have shelter from the breeze with the house and we also have the lovely view of El Prado Park. Mr. Buxton who built this house seemed to have an affinity for um, doors and every room in this house with the exception of the bathrooms has an exterior door. This is my bedroom and I actually have two. 
I think the reason this should be considered one of Torrance's historic treasures is the fact that it has been literally maintained um, in its original form. The minute I saw this online, I knew I loved it. When I came in person, despite its appearance at the time, I could see past that. And it just seemed like it was gonna be a perfect home to restore. And that's what my goal was, um, to bring it back to its beauty.